Hey team, it's day 39. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's jump into the six goals. And also another thing I wanna to answer tonight is behind me, you know, why can't I stop craving chips? Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit about habits and, and some of the triggers that cause it, but let's go through the six goals and I'll try and get you guys out of here in a short amount of time. So it was day 39, uh, 220, I was like 219.2 today, you know, or yeah, I was. So I was just a little bit over, so I'm staying in the 219s. Uh, I'm happy with that and we're just gonna go. Like I said, once you hit them, you know, you're gonna keep tapping into them. 1451 calories, man, I was way behind, uh, but I had my daughter's basketball game that I went to and, and things and just didn't get it in. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta watch out for that because when you have a full day of work and you, 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 know, you realize it's like three o'clock and you're looking up and, and you started at seven, it's just, it's crazy. So didn't, didn't really eat a ton yesterday. Uh, seven hours of sleep, 120 ounces of water. I've been doing pretty good at, at least getting that or more. 35 minutes of activity. Like I said, daughter had a game, made sure I got that in in 235 grams of protein. So I'm definitely eating some chicken yesterday, which is awesome because I love it. I found a new seasoning that, that's another thing. If you if you guys are doing some of this and, and you uh, really like to eat something specific that's decently healthy, you'll find you have to spruce it up here or there, especially like chicken lean chicken. Um, so I've found some, some spices that are, you know, no calorie and it, it, it's really cool. And, um, so those are some of the things you may have to do as you're eating throughout this, you'll find that you kind of go to your go-to things, uh, from a planning perspective. So not a big deal, but, uh, find what you like and go after it. So here we go. Why can't I stop craving chips? Uh, and I just use this as an example of uh, habits, right? And uh, again, uh, the book by James Clear, Atomic Habits, I think it's really, it's just, it was a, it's been a really pivotal book for me uh, because it allows me to be cognizant of where my triggers are as it relates to food. And, and I'll just talk food specifically here, but uh, you know, James also talks about, you know, when, you know, people would have a cigarette, you know, there's a certain situation like, uh, you know, after, uh, I have uh, some friends that, you know, after they would eat, uh, smoke, you know, they have a cigarette. So it was like that, that trigger of, of smoking, you know, is always there. And when you really think about it, once you have that environment or, or you grow up with that, or, or you do that enough times, it, it, it's really tough to break the habit. So what, when you really think about it, it once a habit, it, it is hard to break because your body has tons of triggers for me. Uh, the chips or night eating for me. It's like after my workout, I always know that that's my body's time to eat. And it's been difficult for me to switch from that two hours. And I know that's why I'm not getting a lot of my calories. Cause you know, I promised you guys, or didn't promise, I promised myself. It's just I'm not putting this on you, but that in order to, you know, ensure that I could continue to get that weight loss down. One thing that I tweaked along the way was not eating you know, uh, starchy carbs or high glycemic index carbs, you know, two hours before I go to bed. Uh, so I know that, you know, that's one of the things that the reasons I've been short on my calories a little bit uh, is just because of that. I've been used to night eating, had that habit of night eating, and now getting off that, it, it, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, uh, it's tough because I like to work out at night. So I don't know if I have to switch my workouts to earlier or what, but um, it's been difficult because when you try to do the self-control thing, it only lasts for so long because if you have the triggers associated with it, like, you know, lifting, come home, cut open the bag of chicken, you know, maybe some rice, bam, it's done, it's good. It's kind of like that post meal. Um, and it's it's just really good. It's just been something that I know that a fuel in your muscles, yada, 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 whatever. It's almost like it was my reward for, for going to the gym. Uh, and, and that's one thing now it's like, I'm, my wires are all crossed because I'm trying to do something different. And it's fine, but self-control doesn't work very long. Uh, and the triggers, I'm not going to quit lifting. So the main thing you have to do, uh, James in his book talks about uh, Vietnam veterans who were hooked on heroin. And after they came back from Vietnam, they, you know, the majority of them didn't stay hooked on heroin. As a matter of fact, they could give it up. So the biggest thing is, is like from getting rid of this, like the environment or that you're in or that trigger that causes that, for instance, maybe it was driving to work in the morning, as soon as you got in the car, you started off your early morning worker. Um, maybe you took a chew from a tobacco side or you smoke cigarettes uh, and that, that's your trigger. 
in order to completely get rid of that, you should try and just hide the trigger altogether. For instance, let's say you play video games too much. Unplug the console and put it away. Uh, out of sight, out of mind, you've heard that before. That probably works when it comes to this. So um, from a, a chips perspective, going back to it, or from a food that you're not wanting to eat, chances are if you don't get rid of that out of your house, you're, you're gonna end up eating it at some point in time. It'll, it won't be a super long time before, and, and the crunch of the chips, oh my goodness, do you guys know that like those things are scientifically uh, developed to get that just right amount of crunch so it's hard to just eat one, right? Um, so that's why my subject tonight was why can't I stop craving chips because I know they're right over there. And I do dip into those things when I need some more carbs and they're just empty carbs and it's like, God, why do I do this? And it's probably because my kids would kill me if I completely got rid of them out of the house. So I am practicing massive willpower, but I can tell you right now, um, when it goes to like a cheat or some other thing that I want to do that where I can just, I know I have a little extra calories to eat. I mean, chips are like, I don't know, I don't know about you, but they're kind of my uh, crazy food, you know, that salt and vinegar too, or cheddar and sour cream um, really gets me. But I just wanted to give you guys an input on if you truly want to stop something that you just know is not healthy for you and, and is bad for you, it's better to get it out of your sight. It's better to radically change the environment, radically change that trigger to where um, going back to those uh, troops that came back from Vietnam, like when you take them completely away from the atmosphere that where they did this and they were hooked on heroin, like it, they never thought about going back to it. You fly them back over to Vietnam probably and put them in that similar stressful situation. Look what happens again. Uh, they also talked about uh, just flashing a picture of cocaine in front of cocaine addicts for like less than a second. Uh, the addicts didn't really know what they saw, but it made them crave it again. So if you think about all those type of things, um, or Pavlov's dogs, you know, when they would ring the bell and they would start salivating, not have anything yet, that habit over time, that environment, those triggers, it makes it almost impossible for you to completely stop uh, one of those habits you've had for a long time. So remove the trigger, re uh, change the environment radically, and you you'll be able to help yourself get over that. So my biggest thing to you is, there is a reason why you can't quit craving the chips or that type of food. Uh, think about a couple things. Think about your trigger to want that food. Think about, is it in your house? Do you continue to buy it? Do you need that food? Do you need that, that trigger for that food? Because if you don't, if you don't need that food and it's not essential to like you getting killed by your kids because you got rid of it, get rid of it. Throw it away, get out of it, or mow it down, house it really quick, and then just don't buy any more. Uh, and then it'll be probably the willpower to not grab it when you're at the grocery store. And if that's the case, buy your groceries online, have them delivered. They got a ton of free coupons. Figure out a way to keep that trigger from leading you to that habit that you know is unhealthy. So I told you guys I'd let you out of here soon. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that you know helps you think about a few things that you've been wanting to quit Evaluate your environment, evaluate the situation you're in when you start to crave that or when you start to do that. For me, it was that night lift, eating right after that. I'm slowly changing that around uh, and just trying to change my environment a little bit to get over that. So, hope this was helpful. Hope you guys like this kind of content. If you have any comments, drop them below and I'll answer them or I will answer it in subsequent videos. And as always, I would love ideas if you guys have any more, but I appreciate your support and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Have a great day.